What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope y'all doing well out there on this Monday, first Monday of the new year. I'm doing real good myself. Hey, look, um, I know a lot of y'all may have already heard about, you know, uh, Antonio Brown and play for the Bucks. You understand? I mean, doing what he just did in the video. You understand? And he's catching a lot of flack for that. But, you know, obviously, you know, um, Antonio Brown had what I call a FTS moment. You know, all of us has had them. You know, all of us that are adults has had an FTS moment. Other words, fuck this shit moment. You know, oh boy, like, I don't give a damn what. You see, I'm tired of this shit right here. You ain't finna play me like this no more. See, a lot of people don't understand what a lot of these entertainers and uh, sports figures and stuff like that go through, you know, behind the scenes. And then once they had a breaking point, it's like people looking at him, well, that shit was bizarre as hell. What the fuck he do that for? You know, that was stupid as hell. You know what I'm saying? He threw away the money. He fumbled the bag and all that old kind of shit. Sometime you had that fuck this shit moment, say fuck the bag and every damn thing else. That's what it boils down to, you know? It is said that, uh, you know, he had a bad ankle and they wanted him to play. You know what I'm saying? He was like, no, nah, I ain't finna go back out there and play because you understand uh, my ankle messed up. You understand? And uh, I'm not finna do that, you know? And see, the thing is with football, the players are like expendable. You know, once they get all busted and racked up and everything, guess what happened? They go to some of these uh, colleges and stuff like that and draft more where they continue to be the black buck making the big bucks for the high muckety ducks that don't give a fuck you understand what i'm saying that's basically what it boils down to okay now let's get into this story right here tampa bay bucks drops antonio brown after he takes off jersey and leaves field mid game okay watch video we just did that but i don't think he cared he pretty much ditched them you know says here tampa bay buccaneers wide receiver Antonio Brown ripped off his much of his uh, uniform and bolted across the field to the locker room midway through the third quarter of Sunday's game against the New York Jets. Though it is unclear exactly what led to Brown's outburst, Buccaneers Radio Network reported that the wide receiver who had who at that point had three catches and 420 well for 26 yards on the day he had been he had just been benched by a uh, head coach uh bruce arians okay i guess that is arians or whatever i guess that's his name right here arians told the press though this is an update it says right here he told the press that the game that brown is no longer a buck <laughs> that's end of the story okay well i think brown decided that when he decided that he wasn't, you know, going to go out there and play on the field. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's obvious. You know, he could have kept that. But to continue, it says, uh, as evidenced by fan video, fellow Bucks wide receiver Mike Evans, as well as tight end O.J. Howard, each tried to calm down Brown's, Brown, stop him from what he was doing, but to no avail. Instead, Brown pulled off his jersey and shoulder pads, while on the sideline during his team's third quarter drive. Um, threw his gloves and shirts into the stands and then jogged across the end zone with the game in play toward the locker room tunnel, okay? Yeah, this shit right here finna make history, you know? Shout out to your boy Antonio Brown, you know what I mean? For standing up, you know, being his own man and saying, fuck this shit, if that's what he felt. That's to be respected. You got to respect this kind of thing. Like I said, all of us has had this fuck this shit moment. Okay, that's just what it is. Don't nobody know what this dude is experiencing but him. And he know his breaking point. That's just what it is, you know. Um, in conclusion here, it says here, Brown, who in May signed a new one-year $3.1 million deal with the Bucks, was suspended for three games in early December. And thus forfeited 183k in salary for violating the NFL uh, dash NFLPA C19 protocols. You know, uh, 
he was found to have missing what's that misrepresented <laughs> his vaccination status by obtaining a fake vaccination card over the summer <laughs> Well, you know, they drive people to do shit like this. So, you know, this is all about survival, you know. Like, that's another thing I'm not going to hold him, you know, him accountable for, you know. But to continue, Brown's behavior during Tuesday's game not only cost him his spot on the team with just one regular season game left against the Panthers. It may have cost him upwards of a million dollars, as reported by Sportrack. Yeah, spot track, okay? An online hub for pro sports contract info. Brown needed just eight more catches this season to unlock a 33, well, 333.333 bonus. 55 receiving yards to unlock another uh, 300,333 333 bonus. And one receiving uh, touchdown to unlock another 300,033, 333 bonus. Oh, the Bucks wound up pulling off a... <laughs> Let me read this again. Oh, the Bucks would have pulled uh, off another 28 to 24 win today, putting it up 11 unanswered points in the fourth quarter. Okay? Yeah. You know, I uh, see another thing, too, what we got to keep in mind. You know, people look at the money that, you know, a lot of these uh, athletes are making, you know, but with money, as we all know, comes a lot of bullshit, you know, and the more money you get paid, the more bullshit you might get. You understand what I'm saying? Because uh, these motherfuckers think that they can treat you, you know, and talk down to you and treat you like they want to when they paying you, you know, because that's what pimps, you know, do to what they perceive as hoes. You understand what I'm saying? And when the hoe making the money for the pimp, you know, I'm going to just put it in those terms. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular story. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.